Hi, and welcome back to Bobby J's Reef Tank. And today I'm going to teach you how to use the Salifert Magnesium Test Kit for your saltwater aquarium. So before you start your test, you got to make sure you have all these items in your kit. Okay, the first step is you want to get 2 milliliters of the water you're testing into this 2 milliliter syringe. So it should look like this. The white part of the syringe lines right up with the 2 milliliter mark. And then you go ahead and add it to your test vial. The second step is you want to add 5 drops of magnesium 1 and swirl gently for 30 seconds. The third step, you want to add one spoon of magnesium 2 powder to the test vial and swirl for 10 seconds. The next step, you want to draw magnesium 3 into the 1 milliliter syringe until the black part of the syringe lines up with the one milliliter mark like so and don't worry about the air gap because that doesn't affect the test results as long as that bottom black part of the syringe lines up with the one mark you're all set the next step is you want to start adding the magnesium 3 until the color changes to gray or blue whichever color is observed first Now you want to hold the syringe with the tip facing upward and read the position of the upper end of the black syringe part. Each division corresponds to 0 0.01 milliliters. We got, there's the 5 mark, 6, 7, 8. So I'm at 0 0.08. The final step is you want to take the number you ended up with, which we ended up with 0 0.08 which is right there on the chart and you go over to the right and that tells you your magnesium level which mine right now is at 1380 parts per million so now you have your test results and you're wondering is my magnesium low is it good or is it too high well seawater has a magnesium level of 1300 to 1500 parts per million so if you're anywhere in that area you're good. But if you're low, you could add some of this Fluval C magnesium additive that I use for my tank. Or you could just simply do water changes and that alone will make sure your magnesium levels are good. But it's always safe to just get a test kit and make sure that the levels are good because you never know. That concludes this video. If you enjoyed watching it, please like and subscribe. But until next time, thanks for watching Bobby J's Reef Tank.